All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of procedural parts, which was originally being worked on by Otherberry, but now it's being taken over by It Must Be a Camel. Ah, uh, you gotta love names on forums. And yes, it is a mod that's been around for a little bit, but I'm looking at it today because it is the official version 1.0 release as of, uh, oh god, January the 11th, so when this comes out, like, two days ago. Uh, but yes, it is a procedural parts mod that ends, adds in a variety of procedural parts, including tanks, SRBs, decouplers even. And that's why I really like it. I I'm not a huge fan of the procedural fairings. I love procedural airships. Uh, procedural wings is also pretty cool. But I think that this one is my favorite procedural parts mod so far because it just has so many different procedural parts. And it also has a lot of compatibility with other mods. So we'll, we'll talk about that all in a little bit, but let's head on into the VAB and start messing around with everything. So let's just grab a random command pod here and head on over to fuel tanks. And now we have a couple of fuel tank designs in this one. For the procedural parts, we have the procedural liquid tank, which if we pop that on there, we can uh, see we can change the textures like we have with previous procedural part mods in the past, such as the airship one we looked at not too long ago. We can also change the shape from a cylinder to a cone, which I find kind of amusing having a cone-shaped uh, liquid fuel tank. I don't know why, but that concept just makes me laugh. And then we have the rounded cylinder, or the fillet cylinder, and a smooth cone. And this one I'm more intrigued by, so let's actually pop that on the top, because not only can we change the texture, but you can change the type of curve. So we got rounded one, rounded two, rounded three, peaked one, peaked two, then sharp one, sharp two, and then just a straight, not really curve. I don't know why that's still considered a part of the curved, but hey, it's a smooth, straight cone curve, I, I guess. And like with any procedural parts mod that we have in existence, we can change the top of diameter here, we can change the bottom diameter, the length of the whole thing, and even the type of fuel. And this is one of the things that has compatibility with other mods. So like right now, this is just straight vanilla Kerbal Space Program. So we have the liquid and oxidizer, just liquid fuel, just oxidizer, and those are our options. But if you have uh, other mods like Real Fuels, Keythane, TAC Life Support, all these different mods that put in different resources into the game, you'll be able to change the tanks to those as well. So it gives it a lot more usability and, well, who doesn't love that? Uh, then besides the liquid fuel tanks, we also have a procedural RCS fuel tank, which of course can only hold monopropellant, but we have the same sort of options here from cylinder cone, uh, the fillet cylinder, the smooth cone, etc. And changing the diameter and length of the object, which of course, as you can see here, changes how much monopropellant it can actually carry. So always an important thing to uh, note there. And, well, that's it on the fuel tanks that we have. Then in engines, which I think is my favorite part about this, because it's it's a procedural freaking engine. Who wouldn't love that? And it is an SRB. I uh, don't know if there's going to be plans in the future for having other procedural engines. I, I think there are, if I'm remembering the forums correct correctly right now. Uh, but for the time being, it is just this SRB. And like with any of the others, we have the, you know, typical shapes we can go through, which again, I kind of find it amusing having a smooth coned SRB, uh, which we can change the textures onto whichever we please. And one of the fun ones with this one, and why I really like it, is we have two SRB types, either surface SRB or vacuum SRB, which as you can see here, changes our ISP between the surface and the vacuum one. Not a huge amount, it only seems to change it by uh, 14 additional ISP in vacuum and taking away 15 ISP in surface. So it's not a huge difference, but hey, a difference is a difference. And of course, 
we can adjust the kilonewtons of thrust here, which is always fun, and can even lock the gimbal if we so desire. Uh, now that is all we have for engines for the time being, so now we uh, move on. Command and control, nothing in here of any use. Structural is where we get to some more fun and interesting things, where we have a procedural structural element here, which is like the fuel tank, but it is purely structural. There is no room for any sort of fuel whatsoever, and, well, we can change the shape, etc. for that. We also have another favorite part of the There's a lot of favorite parts to this mod for me, I have to admit. <laughs> a procedural stack decoupler. Let's just grab that baby right there. And not only can we, you know, change texture, change diameter, change it between a decoupler and a separator, but we can also change how much force it decouples with. So seven seems to be around the standard for a lot of the decouplers, and we can pump it up all the way to, oh, even more past 10 if you so desire. Looks like 14 is as high as we can go for that, but that's, that's powerful. Do we have, ooh, boy, I'm not getting a good. Hmm, so ejection force seems to be standard between the two, I guess at that default that it came out at the seven. And so you can double the ejection force of the decoupler, or of course you can lower it down to just a very, very tiny kerchink of a release, uh, but that is all up to you. I love that. The idea of a stack decoupler is beautiful because, well, I've run into a lot of, with a lot of different mods, sometimes with different weird sizes, I have a hard time finding the right size decoupler, but with this, I'll never have that worry again. I can make this thing as small or as large as I need. Oh boy, that is a that is a big decoupler. Let's bring that back down to a more sensible size. And uh, there is supposed to be a nose cone, and I, th hmm, I would have thought it would be in structural, but I haven't seen it in any other section. Let's just give a qu- oh, nope, it's here. I am just blind as a bat. When I was looking around these earlier, I figured the nose cone would be in structural for some reason. But no, aerodynamic, we have a procedural nose cone. So let's pop that on the top. There we are, and well, it just goes through the different curves that we have available to us. And you can make it uh, more in length, diameter, etc., just like any other part. Oh, there's a, there's a beautiful colored nose cone for you. And then, finally, we go into Utility, where we have two additional procedural parts. We have a procedural battery. Let's go down here. And, of course, like the others, we can change its shape, size, etc. to whatever you need for your mission. And, of course, changing the length and diameter adjust the amount of electrical charge that it has in it. And, lastly, but certainly not least, we have the procedural xenon tank. Which, uh, again, just sort of bog standard sort of stuff here. Change all the things that you want and need. And you have a container for xenon gas. Now, there is one thing I am definitely for sure missing. I thought I was missing the nose cone, but I was just blind. But there is also a procedural heat shield. But you have to have a deadly re-entry mod installed to see it and I do not have that installed. Uh, so there is a procedural heat shield as well, I just I don't have that available to me at the time being. Now, as for future parts, they are hoping, uh, I'm looking over at the forum page now for it, and uh, they are hoping to add in new shapes like cuboid parts, which I think would be really fun to have. You can make yourself a cool little cube set out of procedural parts. Uh, maybe a hexagonal, octagonal pieces, uh, maybe a mounting pod for surfaces, and uh, of course, a pro potentially a procedural command module, which that would be fun. And oh, I am actually looking now at uh, over here. What is not planned is procedural engines. I was hoping maybe there would be, because we do have the SRB, but it would appear looking over at the list of features that there is not planned for procedural engines, nor wings, because of course there's already a procedural wings and a procedural fairings mod, so he's not gonna touch that. But we have all of these lovely procedural pieces that are just good fun. So let's actually just make a new ship real quick. I kinda wanna pop a couple of these things on just to test them out. So let's go with, well first, let's add a decoupler in here with, of course, 
the full ejection force available to us. Oh, it's not letting me go to 14 now. I must have accidentally glitched that 14. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Let's see. I was had it like at point or nine point something. Oh, darn. I'm, yeah, I must have glitched that. Oh, well, c'est la vie. We have that decoupler. And then let's go with just a procedural liquid can. Oh, I did. I grabbed the wrong one. One page over. Procedural liquid tank. Let's make it, uh, yes, one of these fillet cylinders. Let's make it a bit longer. Make the curve much more, so it's basically a, s oh boy, very ovular. Nice, lovely. Make it a bit more on the diameter. Perfect. It's beautiful. And make it a nice fun, t oh yes, that's a wonderfully fun and gaudy texture. Excellent. Let's just slap an engine on that baby. There we go, perfect. <laughs> that is one weird looking ship like that. Okay, now we need another one of these procedural decouplers. Of course, with maximum force, there we go. Add a procedural SRB, lovely. And of course, we're gonna make it conical because, well, who wouldn't want conical? Uh, of course, we can make it back into a normal cylinder doing that, but no, let's flare out the bottom a bit more. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, as much force as we can... F oh, dear God. I didn't notice that on the thrust. Look at that. That just... Oh, boy. <laughs> I hadn't adjusted the thrust yet. So that's what happens. It flares out the bottom. That is... This is going to be one ugly-looking spacecraft. But you know what? <laughs> We're going with it. We are going with it. Perfect. I love it. Uh, let's just add on a little parachute to the end because we really don't need any of the other procedural parts on this. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> the SRP is... Oh, that is ugly as sin. I love it. I love it to death. Uh, imagine that with uh, like one of the cuboid ones or hexagonal. That would be hilariously good times. But let's just go to launch this and see how this monstrosity flies. Oh, I put no control systems on it, so we're probably going to crash and explode, which, hey, fun times. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this bulbous mess, and the uh, SRP is actually going through the launch pad. That is beautiful. Jebediah, you poor fool, you're probably going to die in about three, two, one. Lift off. Holy crap. Look at that thrust. It is overheating, but not before it runs out of fuel. Decoupled quite nicely. Little engine with uh, quite a bit of fuel in this bulbous tank. Wow, a lot of fuel in this bulbous tank. Granted, we also do have one of the tiny, tiny little engines. So that thing is going to be sipping fuel. I wonder how much that SRB got us. Quite a ways. That was one impressive SRB. I loved it. I really did love that thing. Imagine like four or five of those. How far you'd go up with that. Uh, but let's just cut this engine and release. Oh, I forgot to put the parachute on another phase. There we go. That bulbous section now hurtling back towards the planet to its inevitable demise. And my lovely capsule just sort of falling back to the planet. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. So yes, this has been the procedural parts mod. And I gotta say, I, I really love this one. Uh, I've said it in the past, I'm not a huge fan of procedural fairings. I don't know why, it honestly doesn't even make sense in my head why I don't like it, but I, I just don't really care for it. Love procedural airships, love procedural wings. This procedural parts mod now though is by far my favorite of the procedural mods. And it's just wonderful. And if you are a fan of career mode, it is also integrated in with that as well. Uh, it's It basically limits the types of tank shapes, dimensions, and contents of the tanks that you can uh, use depending on your tech level. So like you couldn't build a gigantic fuel tank before you do like basic rocketry, etc. So it does have some uh, career mode support, which is very cool. Uh, like I said, they are working on other parts for it. 
I like cuboid parts, which I'm waiting for. I cannot wait for that. I'm intrigued to see how procedural command modules will go. And apparently they're hoping for rescaling and tweakable IVA. So I look forward to seeing how that progresses in the future. Uh, but for now, it's it's a great mod with a lot of cool procedural parts, a lot of really great mod support. As I said, the fuel tanks can work with, you know, Keythane, Tack Life support, real fuels, all of those. And so, yeah, it's just a fun, great mod. So if you'd like to check it out, just take a look at the link in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. And thankfully, Jebediah survived this one. Ha. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I was going to cut the line and then be like, oh no, Jebediah, later. But no, that didn't work. So, <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs>